And then there is another one. Yeah. Yo, what's going on? How you doing? Hopefully everyone's doing well out there, you know, staying safe, blessed, out the way. I am wavy, by the way. And yeah, uh appreciating everybody that's been pulling up and stuff on the videos, you know, whether and showing support, you know, subscribing, liking, commenting. Appreciate it all. Um, anything else I wanted to say? Well, I'll probably remember it during the video. Anyway, this right here is Hassan Campbell. If you don't know, he's a uh, popular hip hop YouTuber. Um, recently, like last, you know, couple months from what I've been seeing, like I don't know a lot about this guy, but I've done research for the video. Obviously, I've come across his videos here and here and there. Um, he might pop up depending on the story, but I haven't seen him in months in my personal feed. But uh, that being said, he's one of the bigger uh, hip hop YouTubers or was, you know, and he was spreading a good message. You know, he was telling brothers, you know, leave the stupid shit alone. If you get out the hood, stay out the hood, uh, you know, be able to take care of your family, all types of positive things. Now, he has a lot going on with him in his personal life and his past. He's had some childhood trauma that um, has been made public. Uh, and, you know, he had a relationship with a man. So a lot of people say that that, uh, that helped gain, notor like, you know, notoriety to his name and stuff like that. And he's also capitalized off it. That being said, <clears throat> he's from the Bronx, Bronx River Projects. He went out there yesterday as, re as of recording this video around, like, probably 10, 11 in the morning. And was just wilding out. He's out there. He's uh, screaming. He's saying all types of shit. He's threatening people. People actually start at one point throwing bottles from, from throwing bottles at him. Uh, I'm hearing that bottles came from the rooftop. Some people are saying that it came from the apartments. I don't know. You know, it's just so much information and stuff. But all of that culminates with uh, Hassan Campbell allegedly being popped. You know, somebody coming there and just getting on him. So uh, we'll get to all of that because there's footage that came out today with him in the hospital. So we'll get to all of that, all of that. But uh, let's back up to the beginning. They're going to keep this shit real small. Oh, yeah. Uh, so he, mainly he's down there because he's upset about the whole Cassie and Diddy situation where uh, Cassie is believed to have... Uh, gone through a, a lot of suffering in her relationship and you know there's been a lot of support and, and and outcry for her meanwhile him and his situation you know he's wanting people to do more about it so now with all that back uh story let's get into the video but not before i say yo no shave november is kicking my ass got a couple more days but let's go because don't nobody give a fuck about the kids in the hood getting fucked I don't want to be in the industry. I don't like the industry. I totally disrespect the industry. I'm in the hood. Nobody likes me in my hood. I robbed these niggas. I extorted these niggas. So why are you going back to the hood, brother? You making yourself a target. You know what I'm saying? And he's out there with a knife, you know, that 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 is in some of the footage, not in none of my footage. Uh, for guidelines but there is a knife out there that he has on him that he's that he pulls out on people and shit like why brother you tell people move out of the hood and go do positive things and then you resorting to the same bullshit i put these niggas on a curfew y'all already seen i'm in the hood well it, it is what it is it is what it is ain't nobody gonna make me go nowhere but i'm just saying what is y'all telling me my life and my pain wasn't worth nothing. That's what the fuck y'all telling me? Yo, this brother needs a little bit of, not a little bit. He needs a, a lot of therapy. Okay, he needs to go get the trauma uh, resolved at least so that he's able to take care of his family and be in a proper mental uh, state of mind for his children and his grandchildren. Because this brother's 50, he's got to be pushing 50, if not over 50. And he's out here proving what? To who? On the internet? For what? 
You know what I'm saying? If he, like all of this is unnecessary, bro. You don't live in the Bronx no more. You don't got nothing to prove to none of these people in the in, in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's people doing the right thing, doing the wrong thing, not doing nothing at all. You have nothing to prove, Hassan. You got out, bro. Like I'm from Brooklyn. You're not gonna see me going to the hood and making a whole bunch of noise and shit like that. Like I'll go through the hood, see family, see friends and shit like that. I'm not gonna go there and be for what? I have nothing to prove to nobody. I have to prove to the man in the mirror every day just to get better. That's my competition. Like, I have nothing to go back and say to nobody about nothing. Like, for what? To prove what? Everything I went through as a child, everything I went through wasn't worth nothing. You saw how she looked back? She like, yo, this nigga's up here early bugging. Look at that. That's what y'all telling me? That's what y'all telling my kids? You expect me to give back to a fucking community that ain't give shit to me? What the fuck is y'all telling me? What is y'all telling me? Where the wolves at? Where everybody at? Where the wolves at? So now he out here just taunting people now. Now he just going to it's not spell it's not making for a good recipe. What the fuck is everybody telling me? And like I said, mental health is not something to be joked about and shit like that, but the brother does need help. He needs some sort of help so that he can be there for his family cuz this is this is crazy putting yourself in this this many uh this many points of danger, I like, feel me. You doing so many things to put yourself in somebody's uh, sights, and this dude. My story wasn't worth shit. My story wasn't worth shit. I ain't asked for no money. I ask for street justice. Couldn't even get that. And that's what I mean. But bro, you ask for street justice. Why you ask him? Go take your street justice. If that's what you want. Or take justice. Go down and follow a a, a a a civil case or a criminal case or whatever. I don't know how that all works. I'm not a lawyer. I'm saying you want to take street justice. Why are you asking other people, other black people to get their hands dirty for you type shit? I'm saying if you want to do it, do it. I swear to God, y'all niggas better not say nothing to me. Word to my mother. Word to my mother. Word to my mother. Bronx River, everybody. I'm talking to all of y'all. This is a 50 something year old man, yo. Wilding like this at 11 o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. Word to my mother. I will kill everybody out this motherfucker. He gonna kill everybody out there. Yo, bro, you asking for it, feel me? Where the wolves at and stuff like that. And then when they pull up on you, if it did happen, allegedly it did, I don't know, I wasn't there. You feel me? But if it did happen, you asked for it, dude. This this is stupid on so many levels, brother. With my motherfucking knife, I won't back down from nothing. The hood ain't gonna support me. Y'all support rape niggas? Y'all support niggas that rape? What the my mother? You feel me? And like, that's not something to be joked about and shit like that. But this is not how you handle it, dude. Especially you, you have some sort of of of, of, of success of you feel me? Some sort of sense, I would hope. You know what I mean, but people go up to. So I'm hearing either on the rooftop or from the apartment buildings. You'll hear it. Might not be the best quality, but they're gonna start throwing bottles at him. Come on, stop, nigga. So when they do, he's like, come outside. Got one with a little bit better. Uh, Where the shoot is that? Niggas throwing bottles out the window. Come outside. I stabbed your mama to death. Yo, now you saying you're going to stab him? It's like. What the dog doing? I don't know, man. People are throwing shit at you, and clearly they don't want you there, bro. 
for whatever reasons, whether you're waking them up on a Sunday afternoon and they were sleeping, people getting ready for church and you messing up their vibes, you made it out the hood and they jealous that you there making noise and shit like that, or you staying that you run shit. Like, bro, you doing way too much. I see why people have been referring to it as he just crashed out. Like, he he's put it... Yo, he went there on a mission to die. I'm a, he went there on a mission that if he died, he would he he was ready. You know what I'm saying that's what I'm saying. It's a mental, it's something mentally going on with him. Like the childhood trauma mixed in with whatever and shit like that. Bro, go get help and people around this man, get him some help. If you a fan of this man, you feel me? Advocate for that, but don't champion this bullshit, because this is some bullshit. Feel me? And him getting clapped and all that. Don't be, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, he made it and shit. Like, like, yes, it's great that he made it. But this dude did everything he could to put himself in a in a situation where he could be in a body bag. He's doing everything. He's saying all the right things. What? That's what I thought. I stabbed your mother to death. What is shot outside? I stabbed your mama to death. What? That's what I thought. I stabbed your mother to death. Craziness, man. So then this is going to be uh, the shooting, but you're not going to see anything. And it's quickly going to flip to him in the car, which makes me think that this is not alive. You feel me? It was presented as alive, but this was not live. There was no way that this could be live by the way that it's going to just flip. You feel me? And this dude's going to be driving. You're not going to hear too much screaming. You're not going to see too much blood. But allegedly, this is after he got clapped, all right? This is his man's right here. He's right here. You're going to see him look like in this direction, off camera, in this direction. And um, I think that that's where people allegedly could have come from. I don't hear anything. I don't see anything. So, but we'll check it out together. I see. Who that? All right. So, his man's is saying he noticed someone back here, and you see that he's gonna be looking over here, and then he's gonna look back there, and then it's gonna flip. All right. And then when it flips, you're gonna be in the car, and we'll go from there. But I just want y'all to take one more, get one more look at it. I see. Who that? Who that? And then now we're in the car, okay? This is the the sun visor, okay? The little label thing that's on the 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 the, the sun, you know, the little shit you pull down. Um, and the phone's in his lap. I, I don't know. I can't tell 100% which hand he's driving in. It depends on, is it a face cam or a back cam? I'm not 100%. The second exit on Westchester Avenue. I need to get to the hospital see, quick. See how it just flipped? I need to get to the hospital. Westchester, second Who that? Take the second exit on Westchester Avenue. I need to get to the hospital quick. So now he's a couple blocks away from where the shooting took place. Feel me? So this, I think the, the, the whole live thing is debunked. I no, leave him. Come on, go, go. I got you. Go straight. Go straight. I need to get to the hospital. I got shot, you, son. I'm gonna get you the ambulance. Why is he driving if he got shot? Why is his man's not driving though? Go. go. I got you. Go straight. Go straight. I need to get to the hospital. I got shot, you, son. I'm gonna get you the ambulance. Red light camera reported ahead. Ah. Uh. Oh, oh, wait. So, so he focused on driving, holding the phone, and he just got shot. I don't know. I don't know. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Light no. camera reported ahead. Ah, uh. oh, oh, wait. Pull over. Let's just get the ambulance. <laughs> and then he says at some point that bullet's getting hot. I but yo yo any dudes watching this yo this is not yo yo man you get it out the hood you make it out the hood and shit like that you take care of your family uh build a career build a business do something positive with your time you don't need to go back to the hood and shit like that bro that shit don't that shit makes no sense 
Leave that shit alone, yo. You were smart enough. You made the right choices. You you put yourself in a position and stuff like that. And Hassan has done stuff. Like I said, I've seen videos from him uh, in the past, just randomly. And he has a lot of subscribers. His, his, his videos get a lot of views, a lot of motion and shit. Bro, this is stupid. And you and what's crazy is in doing a little bit of research throughout, throughout the day, you, pre you preach a whole different thing. You preach... This dude be in his garden talking about niggas leave the hood and and leave that shit alone and take care of your family on some meditation tranquil type shit. And then you doing shit like this, bro. Hey yo, people in his circle, man, man needs some help, yo. Brother needs some help, yo. So this is gonna be him following up the alleged shooting, and um, he's in the hospital, uh, continuing the clout chase. But it worked, yo. It got everyone. The internet's been buzzing with this shit for the last two days or 18 hours or whatever the fuck so he's gotten people buzzing with his name for the right reasons i don't know but any any press is good press they say right and now they're about to take this bullet out got a miserable night sleeping in this hospital boy backs looking crazy braids looking nasty fix me the shape up but i'm still alive <laughs> I'm still alive. Yo, this nigga's joking about this shit, yo. Yo, man, y'all in 2023, the shit y'all do for clout and shit like that is wild, yo. Look at this nigga. We just, uh, I covered a few weeks ago the uh, YouTuber that was pressing the guy in Florida and the guy shot him. You feel me? And he talking about he's still going to do it. He's still going to continue making the same time. Like, y'all motherfuckers don't learn. Y'all really don't know. And when and when y'all get lucky and shit like that, y'all make a joke of it. This man is 50-something years old. Alive. <laughs> I'm still alive. Bruh, yo. This is wild. Oh, man. That's what's cool to y'all. Uh, getting shot. IVs, 50-plus, got salt and pepper beard and shit like that. Thinking that this shit's cool. Getting on like a fucking teenager, fucking 20 year old and shit, but this is a grown man. This is somebody's grandfather, probably. Boy, Mr. Checkmate was sleep there all night. See, that's his man's, that's his man's who was, who was told him uh, at the, at the spot right before the camera switched. But y'all don't know why he's showing his man's like that. Like, for what? That's what I'm saying. This shit is all clout, yo. All clout, yo. This shit. This nigga went down to uh, Bronx River and and um, 11 o'clock in the afternoon thought nobody was going to be up. Thought nobody was going to be up for his ass. So he was out there talking, talking, talking till niggas started throwing shit at him, made a call, another nigga pull up. For what? Now niggas caught you slipping. You was out there acting a fool. There were fans and shit like that trying to say what up. At least one fan trying to say what up. You over there pressing people, pulling knives on people. Now everybody know that you just run with a knife type shit. Bro, this shit was stupid, yo. That's what I'm saying, yo. This is a clout grab. Look at him, yo. Just recording it like... So this is the bullet that got me right here. <laughs> Look at him, yo. He holding that shit like a trophy. Little does he know that if the if the shooter has a little bit better target, the alleged shooter has a little bit better target, you done. How come we don't hear when you when you when you how come we don't hear clear pops when you get shot? How come we don't hear we don't see any blood? We we see you driving. How come we don't hear you, you know? Ah, 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 this shit. Like, feel me? There's so many questions about this. All in all, it was just all stupid. Uh, clout chase. Piece of cake. Yeah. All right, sit sure down. Yeah, if y'all if y'all are fans of this Take guy, the uh, out. yeah, if y'all are fans of this guy, you know this just this just ain't it. This ain't it. I know he's a great YouTuber in his own sense and shit like that. I know he wants justice. I get it. I get it that he has childhood trauma. I get it. Well, I don't get it, but I can empathize with him. But what I can't 
get with is the way that he's going about handling it. Going to play, going to the, going to the projects, threatening everybody. Because everybody in the hood ain't bad. You feel me? There's cool people in the hood. There's old ladies in the hood, old grandmas in the hood, and, sh and shit, old men in the hood, young kids and shit like that. Everybody's not about that life. You feel me? But you in there threatening them, got a knife, threatening people and shit like that. Like, you know, it, it was it was a recipe for disaster. And, um, yeah, y'all let me know whatever y'all think. Y'all think, y'all think, uh, you know, he had a reason to be down there. So he went down there and he wants street justice. He wants the, the, the hood to, you know, rally behind him, uh, and, and what he's asking for in justice, uh, when it comes to his past, you know, but, um, or, you know, you just think that this was all around stupid. This man is a father. This man is grandfather age. If even he don't got grandkids, like, dude, you should be doing something positive, bro. Like, feel me? You have a lot of people that look up to you on your platform. Do that. Continue going out in your garden and living the beautiful life that you've built for yourself, bro. Get the help that you need so you can enjoy the life that you've built for yourself. Give up this stupid shit, all that hood shit going and standing. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? You don't need to validate shit. And that's for anybody. You don't need to validate nothing to nobody. Only person you need to validate to is your family and that person in the mirror every day, yo. And uh, on that one, I'm going to get to my... Uh, if you stuck around this long in the video, like, comment, subscribe. You know, I want to hear what y'all think about it, of course. And then I'm going to get to my last random clip. I'm so bored, I just sent a bunch of flowers to my neighbor Steve with a note that reads, I still miss you. Love, Laura. Kiss, kiss, kiss. I guess his wife just found them. Sorry, Steve. I was bored. Yo, that guy's a savage, yo. Y'all stay wavy.